नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स खुश रहो बेटिया आई जे वी एन डॉक्टर वाई चंद्रकला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन हेपेटोप्सिडा व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द हेपेटोप्सिडा द लिवर वर्ड द थैलस इज डॉर्सी वेंट्रल और डॉर्सी फ्लैट ओके हैविंग अ यूनिसेलुलर राइजोम्स और अ ventral side the branching you can find it as a dicotomous that means having a unicellular structures with a ventral side the sex organ is the antheridium or having the male and producing a biflagellate anthrozoids so here the anthrogonium that is the female produced on the non flagellated x the sporophytes are completely parasites and the sporophytes having a fourth ct and the capsules that means the spores produced on the different producing part the spores germinates into the produced into the haploid gametophytes or the rhesia or the marchantia you can find for example when we see the characteristic these are usually grow in the moist or a shady place having a habit habitat the plant body is thalloid that means the thallus is dorsi ventral and closely oppressed to the substrate some member of these are having a early flag structures or an appendages in two rows or a stem like structures so uh, when we say it is like the unicellular rhizoids or in the ventral sides okay so uh, when we see the reproduction part is sexual reproduction take place by the fragmentations or by the formation of the specialized structure called the gamma so a gamma is a green or a multicellular or or a asexual birds that means a gamma develop into a small receptacle called the gamma cup and this gamma get detached from the parent body and germinate to form a new individual in case of the sexual reproduction the male and the female sex organs are produced either on the same or on the different thalli so here the sporophyte is differentiated into the foot seta and the capsule okay so the spores are produced after the meiosis and these spores germinate to produce the free living gametophytes so the sex organ here when we say the anthridium or the male part which are by flagellates and anthrozoids so the anthrogonium that is the female part and produced having a non flagellate x the sporophytes completely parasitic in nature so these sporophytes have the food seta and the capsules having the poor producing parts that means the spore germinate to produce a haploid gametophytes in for example in rhesia and marchantia okay so the first two order uh, called the thallus or the liver word that because they do not have a leaf or a stem organization but consist of a flat spreading thallus okay and having a life cycle of haplo uh, diplo diploentic life cycles which forms uh, which is dominant having a photosynthetic phase in the diploid sporophyte and the haploid phase is represented by a short leafed and one or a few of the gametophytes okay thank you this session is powered by 2.0 jyoti vidyapeet women's university jaipur If you have any queries, we'll discuss in the problem-solving session. Thank you.